Hey Zed Eagles, this is Super Summon God Barbecue, and today we are going to be looking at a very particular case of Deja Vu. By Deja Vu, you're probably wondering, what the hell is he talking about? Well, let's go right into it by saying that you may recognize this event card from Summer Sam tier in Season 2. In fact, I'll link the video into the little eye, it's going to pop up just there, and you can go check it out yourself. Yes, we have all just been put on the list for the second time. It is Chris Jericho's Ring Domination. You can see the card in this over here at the moment. And you can see that this card is OP as... When I say OP, I mean OP. Look at the state of the other cards compared to it. Obviously, we're not going to compare Alexa Bliss. Brett the Hitman Heart loses in power, speed, and charisma. Goldberg loses in toughness, speed, and charisma. Jack Gallagher, the latest card, although they'll have a tokening tip to beat Jericho in free stats. Okay, because Gallagher loses in power and speed. Make sure that on Gallagher, if you haven't probed him yet, to put all your tokens in power like I'm going to. This is the reason why I hold back my event cards. Because if you hold back the event cards, the next one that comes along that might be better, my Jack Gallagher is going to free stat a Chris Jericho. Thank you very much. So power, toughness and charisma, you will be Jericho in free stats. Which makes him a very, very valuable card. So he'll be proed very, very soon. Move on then to Mankind. He beats Mankind in power, speed and charisma. Again, free stats, Neville, toughness, speed and charisma. Uh, he's the fastest card in the game by uh, like a country mile. Uh, tougher speed and charisma again for Randy Orton. Uh, it is crazy. This card literally tears every other card apart. And he is only a couple of stats off for statting Shane McMahon. So this card is ridiculously good. I mean crazily good. But let me know in the comments section if you're going to go grab yourself Chris Jericho and insert your name onto the list one more time. And let's look at the previous Chris Jericho because I love the nostalgia effect. Let's go to the SummerSlam cards. Give me a moment. We'll find him. Where is he? Chris Jericho. There he is. This was the previous card that he had. I cannot wait to use that new image. In fact, I'm looking forward to using this image on the new card. Although, the new card image does look pretty good. Now, if you do like what you see, remember to leave a like on this video. But I usually ask you to do that as hard as you can. This time, I'm going to ask you to lock in a Lion Tamer. Honest bad boy. We still haven't had a Chris Jericho with the list yet, which we, I would love to have, okay? But we're going to get into this right now. We're going to play Gerv. I know this guy. I'm pretty sure I know this guy. You're going to see me use a tactic, which is about training cards up. I'm going to get into this right now. So you've got uh, Jack Gallagher. I've actually got Roman Reigns down there as well. That I could be used in the middle as well. But we've got Finn because it's always Finn, except for me now. I cry every time. Uh, there we go. So there's Finn straight away. That puts in Shane McMahon to go up against Jack Gallagher. That's going to put even more games on him. Hopefully, he gets taken over by someone on the right-hand side. Otherwise, I might have a slight problem there. And I guess it takes over Jack Gallagher. But hey, it gets me a little bit of training. I'm now going to use Stone Cold Steve Austin to take over Finn and Balor. No proc from Balor. That could have been useful if he did. Uh, there we go. And now we have to to make his next move. Okay, that's okay. So I can protect Balor now. I've got four things, and hopefully this Randy Orton doesn't screw things up. Speed and charisma. That's good. That's good. Shane can do the coast to coast. Actually, we're in a really good position here. We win. We've got a few shards to get as well. So we're all good. And I'm a little bit slacking in uh, this ring domination. The reason why I've actually been to a couple of events over the last couple of days. Is I went to an event for a really cool looking product. And if, if you guys are ever wanting to get into content creation. So recording W Supercard, making videos for YouTube. That's, oh, Survivor Naomi, nice. Uh, whilst we get the rest of these shards. You guys and girls have ever wanted to get into content creation. When I say content creation, I talk about uploading videos and recording WWE Supercard. Or any mobile games or anything to YouTube or to Twitch or streaming. This is the kind of thing you'll be looking at. Go to uh, player.me. I'll link it into the description and the comment section. Definitely worth checking out because I went to go and check that out before it was released to the public. It looks like, a, in, in my opinion, a way of really inviting the people who don't have the amazing kit, who don't have this uh, crazy ability to use Photoshop or 
the ability to make backgrounds and stuff. It literally makes uh, backgrounds like I've got here for you. That's a nice little reset as well, okay? Does all the stream overlays for you. You don't have to do any of that work. You literally just play the game and it does everything else. It's also like a social media platform as well. Now I've registered already, go check out Super Zombie God Barbecue again. I'll link my profile in there. Go check it out, it's probably something you should have a look at. But uh, as you've seen, the elite card in this ring domination is Shinsuke Nakamura, which is a very, very good card, top five. But not just that, I know that the hardened card is Mojo Rawley, but I've also been told that the ultimate card is pretty freaking good as well. It was on the team stream the other night, and I wanted to show you guys, first of all, the WWE Slam Crate, which I got, which I did the unboxing the other night. Awesome product. Go check it out. Details are going to pop up very, very soon. But I did the unboxing, recorded it for all of you amazing people. I hope you enjoy. I'm very, very excited about this, because I've been waiting for this since they announced the Road to WrestleMania Crate. Yes. Finally got through my Slam Crate. Really excited, actually. I like it. I love the contents of this crate. I would love it if it came in once every month. But we're going to open it. If you have not seen a slam crate, so you want to get yourself one, all you've got to do is go to www.lootcrate.com slash barbecue and type in code ZOMG for 10% off. Honestly, it's so worth it. You're going to see it. Okay, so let's have a look. This. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Right, okay, so there is a lot of stuff in here. This is the Road to WrestleMania crate, so there's going to be a lot of good stuff in this, I think. The creme de la creme, what everyone wants to see when they first open it up. The t-shirt. This t-shirt is exclusive to the WWE Slam crates. Literally, I this Architect Sephiroth's t-shirt is the nuts. I love it. It looks awesome. And you can only get it in a Slam crate. And every month they do one t-shirt. See? Just to show you, it's a fancy WWE wear. Next thing is these Loot Crate, crate exclusive die-cast metals. I got myself The Rock. Now, apparently this set has AJ Styles. Now, I loved AJ Styles, but you know what? I'll do it with The Rock. I'll do it with The Rock. It's cool. So it actually goes with my John Cena that's behind the switch. So I'll put it up here. I can go there. I like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So they did these uh, pins. You may have seen these before. They did one for the WWE uh, Championship, the old WWE Championship, and the one for the Intercontinental Championship. This one is the winged WWE Championship. This is the one that people remember the most. Okay? I love it. It's going on my bag straight away. I love the pins, because the pins, if I collect every single one, then this... Let's open it. They will look amazing. But there you go. Like a Power Ranger doing this. This I've seen a, a couple of times. This is like a, uh, like a, I don't know what you guys call it in America, but bum bag kind of thing. But apparently you can wear it over your shoulder. It looks quite cool, but it's WWE Championship, which is awesome. I'm just going to throw this away. It's a fanny pack. It's a fanny pack. Yeah, it is different. So I am the champ. The champ is here, right here, right now. Um, yeah, it's a fanny pack. And, ooh, I have something that is in the silver thing. Uh, this free card set includes a code that unlocks something special in the Top Story Slam Card Trader app. Why do they not have anything like this for champions or super card? Loot Crate, do something. Cat Daddy, Scopely, do something. Oh, this is the Charlotte Flair thing. So it just says like a QA about Charlotte Flair, which is kind of cool. And this dead man poster as well. They should have QR codes in these things. Think of the money you could make. That would be amazing. And this, I'm going to see what it does. Okay. So this is a tops pack that apparently, if you open it up, there is a special code on it. You enter into Slam Trading app, which I don't play that much anymore. Um, you get yourself an exclusive card or something, okay? So let's have a look. Let's open it up. That's the sad. That's the sad. Okay, let's open it up. <laughs> you have... Ah. Uh, John Cena! Great, okay. I should say I shouldn't be able to see that. The Charlotte Flair. 
Nice. Kevin Owens. And a free pack. You see on my screen, that is what it shows up as. It says claim your free pack. So a little one. I'm going to click on that. Claim it. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay. You know what, actually, that was, um... <laughs> that was... That was pretty lame. In terms of, I mean, you, what you should have is, like, exclusive stuff. The idea is fantastic. The reward is a little bit, like... And inside the box, it has a replica WrestleMania entrance ramp. Which I like. The fact that Kevin Owens is on it is actually quite cool. If you want to go get yourself a slam crate, go to www.lootcrate.com slash barbecue. Hit the code ZOMG, but the rest of it was worth it. The Seth Rollins t-shirt on its own is freaking worth it, like a million percent. I'm going to go up against this dude. I completely forgot to mention his name, but Dave. Uh, let me know what you thought about that unboxing in the comment sections below. And let me know if you're going to get yourself one of these crates because this Seth Rollins t-shirt is the nuts. But we are going to talk about what this Jericho card means. Now, just to give you a brief update, the ultimate card in this ring domination is AJ Styles. It's not just a good card. It's not just a great card or a brilliant card. It's phenomenal. Yes, but don't. But not only is it phenomenal, we are now closing in on having pretty much every good card in Ultimate Tier showcased. And I wouldn't be surprised in the next couple of days, if not weeks, and I'll explain my reasoning behind this, if we start to see pros of hardened cards, elite cards, and maybe even an Ultimate Card Pro thrown in there for good measure. And the reason why I believe that is a lot of people have been speculating this on Twitter, but not only on Twitter, but on YouTube people have been discussing that whether this Jericho card, because it's so good, is a signal that we are going to be ending Ultimate Tier very soon and moving on to the next tier. A new tier is coming. Does this signify the road to a new tier? Almost certainly. The fact that he is overpowered means it's almost a certainty we're going to get something new soon. Do I think it's going to be in the next two weeks? I'm not so sure. Now, there are theories to back this up and there are theories to go against this. Money in the Bank rewards are due up for renewal in seven days, eight days time. So, on Friday next week. Which means that Naomi's, uh, Naomi and Bray Wyatt's cards will disappear. And I, I hope that they'll do some kind of WrestleMania themed cards there. Now, if that happens, it could be that the week afterwards we actually see a brand new tier be released. Now, a lot of people, including some close friends, have said that they believe this is going to happen. Now, I've got a different theory. And I spoke about this, actually, funny enough, when I was talking about the Money in the Bank rewards. And when the Money in the Bank rewards were originally announced, I actually predicted that we were going to see another event card after this. But I also predicted that this would be a female. And I don't know about you, but I don't see anything female about Chris Jericho. So... I got that one wrong, and I'll hold my hands up to that. But there's every possibility that we could see another event card that's even more powerful than Jericho in something called a Flash event, which could be the week before the week of WrestleMania. Based on previous stuff that Cat Daddy and WWE Supercard have done, they usually release an update on the week of the event, and they may try to steal a march on another game. Maybe they know that maybe a champion is getting an update, and they might do one then. Um, but I would say by the fact that Gallagher's card was good and now Jericho's card is even better means I think in two weeks time we're going to get an even better, even more crazier event card that four stats all of the event cards which is going to be then the signal that a new tier is coming. But let me know what you think in the comments and I'm going to ask you specifically do you think this is at the beginning, the sign that a new tier is coming or do you feel that we've got a couple more event cards coming in and Chris Jericho is just a sign it's going to happen, but not necessarily soon. Let me also know if any of those cards, the undercards, are a pro in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe using the widget that's going to pop up just down here in a second. Remember to hit the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Go check out all those likes, follows, etc. And I'll see you all very soon. One last thing, and that is to... Zonic!